Hello! Alright, this episode will be of Doctor Who, Episode 5, Series 8. Yep, it's called Time Heist. A uh, very good title for, because it actually was that. Before I say anything, spoilers. Alright, are you good? No, because there's gonna be spoilers. So, if you don't wanna snow, mute this. Mute it! <laughs> or watch one of the other videos. Hopefully, you have been caught up on the, you know, the season. Anyway, uh, here it goes. I'm gonna be just talking about. Some Try to make this quick, not make it too long, but yeah, I'll try. Anyway, uh, I'll be talking about the moments that I liked from this episode of Time Hi uh, Time Heist. Or Heist Bank. But oh, I forgot. Episode 5, I know that. Episode 5. So this is what happens. Uh, doctor starts out with Clara and the Doctor. They're in the TARDIS. Well, they're at her apartment. The TARDIS is just right there. And the thing is, they hear a phone ring, and she's like, don't answer it, because she thing is, when that phone rings, stuff always happens. And it did happen. Uh, boom. They lost all their memories. They don't know how they got to this place. They got to a, some pyramid place. It, okay, they're on a planet where all the money of all the universe goes to. And people put their money there. It's like, basically, the Cayman Islands of the universe. So, I thought of that, and that was pretty cool. And next thing you know, there's four other people. There's a guy, android, oh, cyborg. You know, this girl, she's a shapeshifter by a touch. Uh, oh, their name. His name, Cy. The other one's... Uh, Zarba? I think Zarba. I'm not sure. Sorry. And then Clara, Doctor, there. Next thing, they're like, you have... Your memories will be wiped. They have... The thing is, their mission is to rob the bank. Right there. So, I liked at that moment because they're like, what the hell is going on? Next thing you know, they... This one... I'm just talking about moments I like. I like this thing, what happened, where they thought it was a bomb and they're about to die. The thing was, it was just a dimensional thing where it just cut one piece of the floor. I'm skipping ahead and I'm just talking about the moments I like. I like that moment because even though it got, you know, a big huge explosion, it didn't have the bang. It's just like, what the? And it went somewhere else. It teleported somewhere else. And then after that, closed it. I was like, oh, I like this. I like Sia's character. I like his character. I hope he's in more episodes in this series or maybe the next season. I hope, yeah, he was a cool, and uh, Zarba, she, I liked her too, she was pretty good. I don't know if I would want her as a companion, but hey, she's pretty good, to, you know, to be one of his friends throughout the Who series, uh, hopefully, you know, but yeah, I liked, I liked her character. Well, I don't know if she has, well, anyway, I'll keep going. So him, he's downloading stuff, because he's a cyborg, he could download things, and there was this one moment that I liked, oh, the lighting just went, hello, illuminate. <laughs> So, what I liked, I liked that him and Clara, it got talking because he forgot his memory. He actually did it to himself. He deleted his memories because he got interrogated and he did, he deleted his family, his friends. I was like, wow. Well, basically, maybe he had a big, huge secret and didn't want, you know, people to know about it. So, I was like, that's, hey, that's cool. He, at least he's saving the people he loved. And then there's this, there's this a monster, I can't remember, Trazerbrack. Karabak, Karabak. Anyway, he, this moment was crazy. He sucks your thoughts out of your brain. He's, because uh, the bank, they can tell when people have impure thoughts. Like if they want to steal or they're going to do counterfeit or something bad around there. And this one guy, he got caught and sucked his hole, left a big, huge hole in his. Oh, well, like, wow. Ugh, I will never try to make fraud again. So I thought that was pretty cool and I thought that was nice. Not nice, but yeah. So basically, the doctor, he found these... Well, they keep going. They keep going. Zarba. Uh, they, they finally found... Well, the monster. I can't... Oh, the alien. I'll just say that. The alien. They found him. And the thing is, he can read their thoughts, but he's sleeping. He's in a hibernation state. So even though he's sleeping, uh, he wakes up. And then he locks into Zarba's thoughts. And she's like, ah! The thing is, right now, they think the injection things are... They're death. Mm, later on, you get to find out. Because I'm skipping ahead. No. <laughs> it was a teleportation device. I was like, yes, they're alive! I was so happy because I want... No, because if you ever watch Christmas specials, like, they have a character, and you're like, oh, I hope they're in... And then, like, wow, they just killed them off the show. Oh, I hate when that happens. But these ones, thank you, thank you. That was cool. But the Doctor, he was pretty dark in this episode. I'm like, whoa, dark. But he was funny, though. <laughs> I like his comedy, I like his thing. Oh, but I like the one uh, at the end where he's like, oh, the Tower of Pisa. I was like, it looks alright. I was like, oh my god. I don't know, I started laughing. So, the thing is, Clara, she had a good moment with Sia like that. And he said something. 
oh Clara, when you die, and when you look into the light, the last thing you see is people that love you and that people will miss you all that. <sighs> so deep. I like that part. And I liked the whole heist thing. I also liked the damn, like, Quentin Turner's Hero uh, Pulp Fiction thing. Because the thing was, they were like, the architect. I hate the architect. The architect was the doctor. I told you spoilers from the beginning, remember? He was the doctor. He planned everything. I was like, wow, that was cool. No, because this woman, she, he told this woman, like, I want you to call me. Call me when you're lonely and you're living sad with regrets. And she did. I was like, wow. <laughs> that was crazy. And the thing was, I think the woman that called was the same woman for V for Vendetta. The doctor. I was like, okay, the UK to me is a very small place. Because every actor I see, I see them in Games of Thrones. I see them in Doctor Who. I'll see them like in a comedy. I'll see them talking with uh, one of the guys from the BBCs. One of those shows. Uh, the comedy ones. The late night ones. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I know they're Scottish, Ireland, British, Welsh. But I just felt like, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it was to save the alien. Not to rob anything. Well, one... To like for they had to uh, go to some vault. They robbed three things, but the three things were uh, to get back your memories. It was a device, and another one was to, uh, to suppress cells because she kept changing uh, Zarba when she uh, touched somebody's hand. She would shape shift just by a touch, kind of like Rogue. But the difference, Rogue, when they touch, she consumes their power and like weakens them. But I thought that was pretty cool, and I liked him that you know he can alter his memory and stuff like that. Shoot, I wouldn't mind a couple of losing. Yeah, so uh, that was a cool one, and me. So they saved the alien. Those were the three treasures, I think. Saving the alien, uh, the compressed cell uh, juice, uh, getting back the memories. Yep, and that was it. Oh, but the thing is, they come back at the end because of the doctor. It was a clone the whole time because she's like, nobody can. This bank is impenetrable. The thing is, that universe, the Cayman Island universe, planet. It's by a sun, and the solar flares are causing it to get weakened. And the thing is, uh, I guess they found out at the time that that place will be destroyed. And I think it did get destroyed. I didn't say how, but anyway. It was very fa I mean, this this episode was very fast-paced. I liked it. The heist, I liked how they had like the little moment where uh, they were showing a bunch of bank robbers' history and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, don't cry. And uh, the doctor, yeah, he's pretty cool. And I can't wait for next week, and hopefully you like this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. There, I think there was a couple more moments, but I'll leave it at that. Bye, my dogs are barking.